Hey, what's going on guys? Broken Machine here today with another episode of Battle Ready, a series where I give you guys some pointers on how to improve your game. Today we're talking plateaus and how to break through them. First, and probably the best tip, is you gotta take a break. Your brain is like any other muscle, and it needs rest. Even if it's just a day, or better, a few days to a week at least, when you've been playing for so long, the game can become too familiar to the extent you're not approaching it as a new game every day. It's not single player, your enemies don't run the same routes over and over, it's multiplayer. It's a fresh game every day with a new set of players with a wide skill base. Get out of that autopilot and take a break. When you come back you'll see it as something new. Secondly, what a lot of players do when they're hitting a plateau is they change their settings. Don't. Go and change the sensitivity and all those hours of building muscle memory can be thrown straight out the window. The only time you should change your sensitivity is when you're at a comfortable skill level with your hand-eye coordination. Be honest, if you're not at that level, don't make the mistake of increasing your sensitivity. Lowering it, however, can often work for many people. And that is because lower sensitivities have a weight to them, whereas higher sensitivities don't. And when you go too high, often they can all really feel the same. There's not much difference. Whereas a low sensitivity, there's a lot of weight to it. But again, you've got to be at a decent skill level and know that you're comfortable with your hand-eye coordination. If you're not, don't go changing your sensitivity. Third step, breaking through a plateau, Watch your own games back, record them with whatever means, with your console share functions or even just a mobile phone or any old camera you've got. Watch your games back and look at how you're playing. Get into the habit of thinking about your game. Why did you rush there? Why did you lose that gunfight? Were you outplayed? What's going on? Those kind of things. You've got to really look at your game as as an outsider. You know, see. How, how would others think about your gameplay? Are you rushing too much? Are you playing too slow? How is your recoil control? You know, be honest. You know, when you're playing the game, often you might think you're playing well, but in reality, you might not actually be. And it's good to just take a break, take a step back, and just look at it. You know, look at your gameplay from an outsider's perspective. Lastly, mindset. When the round begins, start with a fresh mindset and reset it for the next round. Whatever happened last round or last game, many weeks ago or the last time you played, just, just leave it behind. You need that focus to push on and improve your game. Getting frustrated is normal, probably even healthy, but don't let it get in the way of your game. Think positive. You died, you rushed out into the open without thinking and died. Think, okay, let's not do that again. Respawn and learn from the mistakes and be proactive. I've been stuck at plateaus at various stages. Most are consistency related, you know, that's one of the hardest things to really get into your head and you know, be really good and consistent about. It's hard to be consistent at being consistent, you know. It's, it's a tricky thing. And I managed to break through these plateaus with these tips, um, but honestly, most of the time, you know, just taking a break really helps. That, that's pretty much all it is. You gotta just take a break and come back and you'll see the game is something new. You know, often it's so easy to get into that autopilot and you know it's multiplayer you know, each game is different you know, your opponents you're not always sure how they're going to be so you've got to be at that skill level where you can do your best at predicting it so for anyone stuck on a plateau or having trouble getting out of a slump i i do honestly hope these help that's all for me today be sure to follow me for the next video thanks for watching i do appreciate all the comments if you have any questions don't hesitate, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And uh, until next time, take it easy guys, goodbye.